Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to see how to create eco animations in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. As you can see in these examples here, we have one common thing on all of the animations that is the echo effects. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to create these effects in uh, in After Effects without using any third party plugins and this actually is pretty easy to create such these simple um, uh, animations. So create your compositions and then let's get started. So jump to your comp and then let's make a square shape layer. Make a perfect square and then let's center that. So go to pos position and put it at zero. Then we are going to uh, transform it there and put the rotation to 45 degrees. And the first, we're going to keep from the scale and put it at zero. After a few frames, just a few, maybe 20, going to let that grow, something like that. So we're going to have this linear bored animation. We are going to easy is that and it is actually still boring. You can actually, we want to make it kind of like bouncing at the end. You can take you time to get to the graph editor and then try to make it or use an expression to make that happen but we are going to use a script called easy and wheeze and from it we are going to choose back out expo in and type in and out and keys all select all of them and apply so then the expression will be applied here Nothing you will have to do, just play and you will see the bouncing back out animation just happened. Now we are going to duplicate this, but before that let's uh, add a fill. So maybe we need to change change a color layer, I'm just making that to make it easier. Duplicate it, sorry, duplicate the shape layer. And then just offset that few frames. We're going to have something just like that. But we're going to tweak the last keyframe of scale of the second shape. Make it something just like that. Going to have something like this. And then for one more time, we're going to duplicate again. And offset it for few frames. Then what we're going to do is leave the last one to have a fill on it. So just going to make the fill there. And the same thing, we are going to change the last K from of scale and make it smaller to have this kind of look. So here we have this animation, but still kind of, we can make it more uh, dip to it. So that's why we are going to add the echo effect to this and let's make change the color just to something like that maybe. And let's put this maybe the stroke of those the first um, make the stroke just 50 and the second one 50. So we have something like this. Now we are going to add the echo effect. The echo is uh, just type echo and we have it on time and drag that on the first one. Let's solo that to see what's happening. What Eco is doing, you can see here, it add another, uh, like uh, replicating the same one. 
but it have a delay so we're going to number of echoes and give that to five we're going to have like five duplicates and to decay we're going to change that to just give it some depth so we're going to have something like this and on echo operator we can change that to it's going to give us different looks but we're going to change that to screen and as you see now we have this effect we're going to copy the echo and paste it in the second layer so we're going to have the same things going on there as you see we have easy creating this easy um, square animation with just a few minutes and you can add more to this the more animation you create to, to your shape the more complicated it will look so for this for this second one we're going to duplicate that five two and do the same thing so we have here this kind of look so maybe we can just to make it more variation we're going to add to the last shape the Venetian blinds and you know um, enemy the transition there that's what's going to happen to give you an idea so we put it zero and then put that there so we have something like that easy ease them and that's look slow maybe width to just 15 so we're going to copy these uh, finishing blinds and copy them to uh, maybe the other ones to give Uh, tweaking the for the same one and widths just to give the variations you get the idea you can change the direction of each one and give something different so we're going to have something just like this uh, combinations of uh, effects and the animation you create so here this is very simple as you see here in this you can create any kind of animation with um, using shape layer and the, the cool things about this if you for example create this kind of animation and you want to change the shape instead of square let's say you want to make a circle or any shape you just have to get the path maybe from Photoshop and then just copy that path here. I will show you how to do actually that. Let's go to this one we have here a circle. It's actually the same if you see here. I'm just going to open shape layer on the path. I'm going to copy that path just to give you an idea what's going on. And here, open your shape layer and we don't have actually the path here. We have rectangle or path how i'm going to copy that path so just right click and convert to busier path and then it's going to change that square to path so we're going to copy that and become it's become a circle the same things we are going to do to the rest of the shapes copy and here are the same things convert and copy that and we're going just changing the shape or the path and keep the animation there and it's really cool so you can copy any shape from illustrator or photoshop and just copy the path here and there you go as you can see here we have the 
<coughs> sorry, you have the heart shape the same way we we create we create it. You can do all that to the other animation you have created. So if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.